Yo, God of War Ragnarok is arguably one of the biggest games to be released in 2022 and there is some cool merch to go along with it as you would expect. Today in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the art of God of War Ragnarok, which is coming out at the end of November, the 29th to be precise. Now, while art books for huge video games are nothing new, the art of God of War Ragnarok is presenting us with two options to choose from. So in this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at which one is worth your cash. So definitely make sure you keep it locked. Your hands on your son's hands. I can't talk about it, but I just need you to trust me. Before I dive into it, we are going to be using Amazon in the UK as our guide here, as they have both versions of the art book listed. Now, first on the agenda is Art of God of War Ragnarok Standard Hardcore Edition. This is priced at £44.15, which is not out of line. An art book for a game tends to be anywhere in between the £25 price range going over to the £45 price range. This comes in a very high quality hardback book and as well as featuring art from the game as well as concept art, it has some interesting information about the way the game was developed too. Now if you are really into the series, this would definitely be a great companion piece and probably make you appreciate the game even more. Next up is the Art of God of War Ragnarok Deluxe Edition. Now to me, there is no denying that the art of God of War Ragnarok Deluxe Edition is something very special. You kind of get the same art book that you get with the standard version. And to be honest, I did try and do a little bit of research and I cannot find for certain if there are any actual extra content in the art book itself. But what you are getting is a beautifully crafted leather like case, which certainly makes this look like a book you could imagine Kratos taking off a shelf. Now it looks amazing and would make for a great collector's item. And that's definitely something which is really eye catching. As well as this, you get two very high quality and limited to this set art prints that come in their own little form. Folder. Now, there is no denying that this is breathtaking to look at. However, it is currently priced over here in the UK on Amazon at £111.99. And its real uh, retail price is actually £116.99, which is over double the price of the standard hardcore, uh, hardcover sorry, edition. Now, this is a massive jump in price, but as far as a collector's piece goes, the deluxe edition is far more of a collectible than the standard one and if it is worth all the extra money it definitely is up to you now over to the million dollar question which is the best art of god of war ragnarok book that you should be picking up now i'm not gonna lie this is definitely tough to call you are basically getting the same art book no matter which one you do end up getting however i will say that the leather style case and old timey look of the deluxe edition is something that would be so cool for a god of war collector especially if you did manage to pre-order either of the god of War Ragnarok Collector's Editions. This book would definitely uh, accompany those and look really, really amazing alongside them. Now, it goes kind of without saying that the art of God of War Ragnarok Deluxe Edition is probably mainly aimed at those who are hardcore about collecting God of War merchandise. Those who just want to appreciate the art and learn more about a game would probably be best just going for the standard edition. Now, me personally, as someone who really likes to collect art books over the years i've definitely got pretty much most of the art books that surface for zelda the breath of the wild so definitely looking at this perspective i am really tempted to grab both i do feel like the uh, deluxe edition is something that's definitely going to hold its value and i guess from a uh, one perspective the hardcore standard edition is something that i could potentially use to look through is 150 pounds worth it maybe at this point definitely something that i'm gonna have to consider but i am really tempted to get both because I do feel like both of them do have their separate purposes for me personally. But for those who are on the fence, I will say that if you're not a big God of War fan, then definitely the standard edition will suffice. And the fact that it is hardcover means that it's definitely also going to hold its value as well over time. Anyway, peeps, that's just my perspective. As I said, I'm probably going to aim to grab both books because I do feel like this is really going to be two great collectible pieces to add to all of the art books that I've gathered over the years. But for those who are definitely on the fence i do feel like maybe the standard edition is more than enough and simply the fact that you will save probably over 70 pounds just probably makes a little bit more sense
Anyway, please do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Which book are you going to get? Are you even going to grab any of the art books? And just over the years, what art books have you been collecting? As I said, I tend to buy art books for any game that I really do appreciate. Definitely got the Persona 5 art book. Also quite a few in there. So this is definitely one that I will love to be adding to my collection come the 29th of November 2022. As always, if you did enjoy this very quick urban gameplay video, be sure to hit the like button. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so before. And until next video, we definitely say peace out, peeps. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for more cool Orbit gameplay videos.